spot, and he's alongside Damien Martin. BC, 40 points, but before we talk about your game within the game, let's talk about that second half. You go into half-time, down five points, giving up 55, hold them to 86 total, and win by 20. What was that message at half-time? Um, a few of us had to give each other some choice words, but it was always coming from a place of, you know, good intent. But this was a very, very huge game for us, and we could put ourselves in a great position with this, so we didn't want to let this one slip like we had a couple games ago. Win or lose, the Wildcats always get together at centre court and they address the game immediately afterwards. It looked like Jesse Wagstaff had a lot to say. Do you mind sharing some of his message? Long story short, it's going to be deja vu all over again where we play in, I guess, under 48 hours. It's going to be another sellout game and I think they're good on the offensive glass, so we're going to have to make sure we continue to work on that end of the floor. You know Scott Roth, you know the guys he coaches. What will you have to make changes to in order to be able to go out of this weekend with a doubleheader win? We just got to have to match their intensity. That's one thing that stands out about Tassie. They play from start to finish, whether they're up 20 or down 20, which is very impressive. So we got to match that effort. And uh, yeah, we'll see how we go from there. Hopefully the ball's falling. All right, mate, enough of the pleasantries. Let's talk about that 40 piece. How did you feel out there from start to finish? It just looked like you had a point to prove. Yeah, I mean, just a sense of urgency, understanding where we're at in the ladder how hard we keep having to fight to put ourselves in a good position. And like I said, it was a great opportunity, but didn't want to let this one slip. So just a will to win. I thought one guy who stopped, stood up in the minutes he was given, especially at the defensive end, was Mitch Norton. What did you make of his game as he has been struggling both with injury and playing time? Yeah, I mean, Mitch is a trooper, man, a two-time champion. I'll go to battle with him any day of the week. He's been struggling with injuries, but as you can see, he's starting to get his groove back and he did a pretty good job on Harvey. Harvey hit some tough shots, but he made him work for it, and that's all you can ask for when you're playing a tough offensive player. Bryce, thank you for putting on such a special display. A lot of people won't, rem won't forget tonight. Best of luck on Sunday. You're welcome. We should never, ever take this man for granted.